The historic Uhuru Park in Nairobi was a beehive of activities Sunday afternoon as government and county employees put final touches on the grounds expected to host governor elect Mike Mbuvi Songo's big day. Kwapishwa kwa governor mpya kutafanywa na judge wa high court the justice Majanja. Similar preparations were also witnessed in over 10 counties across the country among them Nakuru Kisi, Kisumu, Siaya, Nyeri and Migori. We want to take this opportunity to thank the people and also to invite them to witness the swearing in which will be here at the ASK showground in Akuru. It will start from 10 o'clock. You know, inauguration is a bipartisan event. It's not an ODM event, not a NASA event, not a Jubilee event. It is an event for the governor who has been elected by the people of Kisi County. In Garissa, the county will play host to Southern Jubaland President Sheikh Ahmed Madobe, who was invited for the swearing-in of Governor-elect Ali Korane. In Bungoma, West Pokot and Makweni, preparations were also in Top Gear, with residents asked to attend the ceremonies. Meanwhile, the Kisumu County government has indicated it will be moving to court to sue the national government over the death of six-month-old Samantha Pendo, who died last week. We have established that at least six people have died whose names we have and of course given that baby Samantha also died the number could definitely be seven now. The toddler is alleged to have been hit on the head by police officers who are responding to protests following the declaration of Uhuru Kenyatta as the winner of the August 8 polls. Makorungechi for Sunday Live.